What's up, everybody? Thank you once again for joining me for another webisode of Scandal. Can you handle? Okay, I just have a question. Again, <laughs> stay with questions, don't I? Um, I'm just wondering when Puffy's going to stop playing with people and their money. Okay? When is he going to stop doing that? Maybe now, after you hear this story. <laughs> I see we have a reggae artist, a well-known reggae artist, mind you, in the building that's not playing games with Puffy. Okay? MediaTakeout.com has reported that reggae artist Elephant Man <laughs> isn't too happy, okay? Homeboy done ran up into a bad boy headquarters the other day and tore the house down, okay? Wasn't a pretty sight. The receptionist said all hell broke loose once they sped past her. It was Elephant Man and two of his other friends, right? She was trying to stop them. Of course, she couldn't. So anyway... They go barging into Puffy's um, office and everything. Homegirl wants to go back to her desk and fake like she want to stay out of it and do some work. You're not answering no phones, girl. You should have been back there um, listening and seeing what was happening. <laughs> but anyway, she did say she heard a lot of thumping around and bumble clot this and bumble clot and give me my money and all this and all that, right? And after it was all said and done, Puffy is reported to have a busted lip and his eyeglasses are kind of like in a pretzel shape now. It's not a good look. I mean, I cannot believe that people are still going on people's jobs like that. Is it that serious? Yeah, obviously it is. Um, so I'm thinking, well, this is this is not an artist you're going to be able to rip off this time, Puffy. Because you know the rumor goes, the ruin, the rumor mill says that um, Puffy finagles with the numbers and things when it comes to his artists. So. Uh, this Jamaican ain't playing no games this time, boo -boo. And for those that do not know who Elephant Man is, I have a picture, and I'd like you to see it. Check it out. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. And that's what he probably was saying as soon as he stepped foot in that office. <laughs> but I have a question, another one, right? Uh, who slapped him with that ugly stick like that? <laughs> that is an ugly stick, honey. <laughs> hey, um, I'm sure this story is going to be developing and we'll be following it. Now, let's just stay on this money trail since we're talking about coins and things. Uh, TMZ has reported that uh, we have an update here on uh, Shaq and Shawnee's divorce shenanigans. Now, here goes Shaq again reaching. Still not coming to grips with it, boo. I understand. Now, all of a sudden... You think that Shawnee done bought a condo for her boy toy personal trainer friend. Why? <laughs> he can afford his own condo, regardless if, it's, uh, if it starts at $650,000 a pop. It does not matter. He is a personal trainer to the stars. So they make money, Shaq. It's okay. <laughs> That's the things that you do. See, that guilty conscience, it eats at you. Well, I want to remind you guys that... Um, you know, when Shawnee met Shaq, and when they started fooling around, Shawnee was married, okay? So she cheated on her husband with Shaq. So how else is it supposed to play out? I mean, the way you get started is usually the way it ends, right? And a word of advice, though, to Shaq. It takes a little more than diamonds and pearls, boo, to please a girl. So you know guys that have a whole bunch of money, they just think that, you know, you throw them a couple of furs and buy them a couple of houses and things. That's all it takes. Yeah. <sighs> It's not. <laughs> That's why she's probably with the personal trainer, getting live streaming back shots. Um, well, uh, maybe Shaq might not be doing too well in the love department. So you might have to brush up on that, boo. Got to put some R&R &R in. <laughs> well, while Shaq is brushing up on his uh, in the love department, I see here that we have OJ in the police department. What are you doing, Orenthal? Here you go. Okay, you guys, I heard this on the news. Um, when he was in the Palms Hotel in the in the room, um, it was tape recorded. And it really did sound like it was armed robbery. I was really saying, no, nah, he ain't holding nobody up. And that. Oh, it really kind of sounds like that. I mean, basically, he's saying stuff like, get against the wall, and you ain't going nowhere, and MF this, and all sorts of profanity. It got crazy. And... Nine accomplices. Now you got nine other people involved in this foolishness over some plaques and trophies and crap. Sit down. You're 90. It's over, child. So now he's being charged with assault with a deadly weapon. And the prosecutors thinks he's going to be a flight risk. So um, 
I guess you'll be having those three hots in a cot <laughs> again. Everybody's doing it. And I'm sure that story will be de developing as well. Orendal. Can they find something to do, people? Well, we have our celebrity photo segment. Let's get to it, shall we? Wow, Nicole, you have come a long way, honey, from this to this. Proud of you, girl. It's a good look. Hey, for my lady viewers, I found these crazy-heeled shoes, and I was wondering, would you guys buy a pair of these? Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls didn't seem to get the memo. This isn't a costume party, boo. That Egyptian-inspired gold and black number with that ridiculous train like that is a don't. Okay? Hey, you guys, I'm Ebony Evans, and this is, and always will be, Scandal. Can you handle? Yeah.